Rochelle Mead, author of Vampire Academy. Vampire Academy is based on an old Romanian story that we have two races of vampires in the world, the Maroi who are good and the Strigoi who are evil. And my main character is a half vampire named Rose who is training to be a bodyguard for the good vampires. And she has all kinds of obstacles along the way as, as she tries to learn this. Um, and one of her obstacles is that she falls in love with her instructor who is older than her and uh, his name is Dimitri and uh, they have a lot of complications as well. Rose and Dimitri are great because of their opposites. I think it's a lot of fun. You know, sometimes Rose, she's just so out there and she, she does these crazy things that she shouldn't and then here is this guy who is her polar opposite because he's so in control. And watching them is fascinating, I, I think, as a reader to, to just see that, like how those personalities interact and the fact that it's forbidden I mean that's we're all suckers for that that's been true for centuries and centuries. Rose has the strength to do the things she does it's part of her nature she's just that kind of person I wouldn't know how to not write a strong person uh, people often say like wow that's so great you have such a strong character and I I don't know what else you would have how you would not write about a strong girl I hesitate to say that Rose is a role model whose behaviors everyone should emulate. I, I'm certainly not trying to teach any morals or, or beliefs in these books. Uh, if anything, I, I hope that readers will look at Rose as someone semi-realistic and that you know you can be strong and capable, but you still make mistakes and you go on. And I, I think that's more important than having some character who is completely perfect and strong in every situation and never fails. Um, because that's not really a role model because it's, it's unattainable. Rose had to leave as a character, throwing her out into the world, away from her friends. Um, she kind of had to see what it was like out there. Um, you know, the, the series is called Vampire Academy and, you know, they often exist in this very protected environment. Uh, but, but having Rose out there in Blood Promise was just this huge growth opportunity for her. Um, and so, it's, it's cool for the readers to see that happen, but I think, you know, Rose herself certainly learned a lot and uh, when she eventually meets up with her, her friends and family again, I think she has a, a bigger appreciation for them. People like Adrian, I mean, because he is a, he's a romantic interest for Rose, of course, but Adrian's a bad boy and Dimitri, his self-control and his strength that we love him for, um, sometimes people get frustrated with that and so they love Adrian because he has none of those control switches. He, he's out there, he says what he feels, he, he does a lot of bad things which somehow are eerily appealing to people and uh, he's, got, he's got some pretty funny lines and so uh, yeah he's, he's that guy you know you shouldn't like but you kind of do. Lissa and Christian are kind of a nice uh, example to have out there of a, of a normal couple and I, I use normal loosely uh, considering the, the world we're dealing with but they met and you know they sparred in the beginning but they date and they're an ordinary couple and they have their couple quarrels and then they go on and I think sometimes it's nice not to have every romance in your book be the the life-altering epic Oscar worthy you know oh no kinda of thing you know they date and that's fine it happens the characters their their core personalities are the same their their characteristics have always been consistent throughout the series you know Lissa's compassionate, Rose is kind of wild. Um, how, what changes is, they, they're maturing, I mean, they're, they're teenagers and everyone kind of changes at that age. They're coming into a greater sense of themselves and even if their personalities aren't changing, they suddenly understand what it means to have those personalities and what their strengths are. Uh, and Rose especially, is this is so important with because she has so many talents, but they're kind of out of control and she doesn't know how to use them and she'll get in a fight when she shouldn't but as the series progresses she sort of learns okay you know what I can do this but here's what I should do instead. Mm -hmm. I've been very surprised uh, at just the international response. I'm, I'm continually astonished at the new countries that just suddenly pop up on my blog. I'll have a list of you know come to New York, come to Atlanta, come to Germany, come to Dubai and I'm like what Dubai? Um, so, so yeah they're coming from everywhere. Um, Brazil I have no idea, to be honest. Brazil is my new fascination um, because they're very vocal and they're very enthusiastic. And for the, they only have one Vampire Academy book released there. They don't have the sales, obviously, be, 
you know, because of population and distribution. Yet they're as loud as, say, Australia, which is my biggest non-U.S. market. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on in Brazil, but they love Vampire Academy. The spin-off series will follow four different characters from the series we've been reading so far, and people have been asking me, you know, who are they, who are they, and I say, no, I can't tell you, because then you know who lives or dies. Uh, but I've finally given in, and I'll tell people that one character is Sydney, uh, the alchemist from the series. So she will be in the spin-off series, and uh, as a spoiler you can take away, she does not die, therefore, in the first series. Spirit Bound, it's going to be just as long as Blood Promise, which a lot of people are excited about. It certainly has its share of cliffhangers and dramatic moments. I, I don't think it will depress people quite as much. It, it will kind of leave them going, oh no, how could you do that? Um, but there's, there's a lot of action. Um, it's, Rose certainly still has her own thinking and uh, you know, development going on, but she's not brooding quite as much. She's, she's back, in, back in things and doing things again.